Alan Wolfe is a very funny cabaret artist, but we suspected that he could be just as funny off stage. I'd like to mention is the fact that I'm Jewish. <laughs> So we very sneakily found out who his dentist was. We also found out when he was due for his next checkup. And on that day, we persuaded his dentist to hide away and let Anthony Fridjon, who doesn't know his drill from his forceps, take his place. Morning, yes. Uh, what's the problem? Um, I've come for checkup. It is. Right. Don't, don't, don't go. No, don't open the very big, please. One. Two. One. Yeah, that's better. No. Oh, pardon. Oh, pardon. It's um. Hmm? Um. No. Open, please. Um, I'm sorry. No, please, yes. Open, yes. Don't, don't worry. It's not uh, important. Ah. Really terrible. Terrible, terrible. Please, Doctor Sutherland. This Doc, morning. Doctor Sutherland. This morning. I don't know. Got to investigate. Can you see one of those? Open, please. Okay. Oh, no, listen, then that's... No, you've got to... This is very important. Um, I'm very late from the point. I'll tell you, I'll come back just now. See? Look, I'm just going to... See? No, it's... I've, got a, I've got a very late appointment. No, it's... Uh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the good boy. <coughs> and this one's in the middle there, too. And uh, we think... Uh, no, no, listen, this is bloody ridiculous. No, it's not the ridiculous. Yes. I think I must really go now. Yes, it's no, no. I've got to extract your... No, no, you haven't got to extract anything. It's it's no, but there's nothing to do. I mean, no, no, it's, no, it's, no, I can't stay here. No, please, please don't go. No, 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 it's... it's, it's no, no, please, I'm, I must go. I must go. This time, we didn't organise a happy ending. We didn't tell Alan that he'd been caught because we wanted to catch him again. You see, we found out that Alan has one big problem in life. Alcohol doesn't have a happy effect on him. <laughs> Just makes him desperately sleepy. So one night we quietly bought out the whole nightclub and put our own well-briefed diners at all the tables. And when Alan came on stage, they were ready for him. As soon as he started his act, the diners started offering him drinks. Oh, thanks very much. For me. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, thanks very much. Thank you. At first he didn't mind, then after a while it got to be a bit much. But pretty girls can be very persuasive, and so can the audience. Of course, we had a very devious reason for wanting him to sleep like a log after his act. trouble keeping him awake, but he struggled on gamely to the end of his act. Staggered off the stage, curled up in a corner and went into a deep sleep. So we picked him up and we carried him away. Now we'd built an exact replica of Alan's apartment, only we built it upside down. So Barry and Buster deposited him on the ceiling and left him there.
Bloody...